All right, geometry students, welcome back to my home office. I've received uh, many complaints that there was not an instructional video in Tuesday's folder, and I kept telling everybody everything you need to know is in Monday's video, but I probably should have given you some more information, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So Monday and Tuesday was all about finding arc length. Yesterday, Wednesday, was about finding the area of a sector. And Thursday's homework is also about finding the area of a sector, and it's nothing new on Thursday. So I promise you that Wednesday's video will help you through Wednesday's homework and Thursday's homework. Now, as far as Tuesday's homework goes, here's the information that I think will be helpful to you that you did not have on Tuesday, and you will have by the end of this session. Okay, so back to arc length. This is the... This is the formula that I gave you on Monday. Arc length is equal to pi times diameter, because pi times diameter is the circumference, and arc length is part of the circumference. So you got to find the whole circumference, and then multiply that by just the angle, or just the fraction of the circle that you want. So that's what I'm calling the central angle. The central angle is that piece of the pi that the vertex is at the center of the circle. So that's a lot of lengthy words and math isn't really about words it's about symbols and numbers so there is a symbol for arc length and there is a symbol for central angle that i'm going to use in the rest of this video so i wanted to show them to you now arc length is represented with an s and central angle that symbol there is called theta it's a greek letter i believe so we're now we're using letters from different alphabets yay fun all right, so really your formula looks like this. S is equal to pi d times theta over 360. So there's your formula that you had on Monday with some more fancy symbols than what I gave you on Monday, the S and the theta. Now what I'm going to do is go over problems 26, 28, and 29 from Tuesday's homework. So let's start with 26. Here's what they gave you on 26, just two things. They gave you that theta, the central angle, was 160, and they gave you S, the arc length, was 20, and they wanted you to find the radius. So you start off with the same formula. S is equal to pi d times theta over 360, and then you solve it for radius, which, if you look, there is no radius in this formula, so that can be a little confusing as well, but... Radius and diameter, they're pretty similar. Diameter is twice as much as the radius. So if you could solve for the diameter, you could just split your answer in half at the end because radius is half of the diameter. So we're going to go ahead and solve for diameter in this problem. So the first thing I did was I substituted in the numbers that we were given. I put in 20 for S and I put in 160 for theta. And then I got busy trying to get D all by itself. So instead of multiplying 360 to the other side and using all these big numbers, I went ahead and reduced 160 over 360 right off the bat into 4 over 9. Now on the next line here, this is when I get rid of my 9. I multiply my 9 to the other side. So 20 times 9 is 180. That's where that 180 comes from and the 9 is gone now. Now all I have to do is divide by 4 and divide by pi. And I'll be left with D all by itself, which is what we want. So when you divide, they go to the bottom. So now we have 180 over 4 pi is equal to D. I went and I reduced 180 over 4 into 45 over 2, which is incorrect. It's actually 90 over 2. So 90 over 2 pi, and if you use your calculator, 90 divided by 2 pi is 14.32. So that's your diameter, 14.32. But like I said, in this problem, they actually wanted to know the radius. So then I split 14.32 in half to get 7.16. And that's your radius. So that's how you do that problem. All right, it's, it's the same formula as Monday, but you had to do a little bit of algebra to get D by itself. So now that you've seen that, some of you, most of you, I think, were able to figure that out because you guys are pretty good at algebra. But now that you've all seen it, these should be a lot easier. But I'm going to go ahead and go over 28 and 29 anyways. 28 is a little bit different. In 28, they asked you to find the circumference. So 
I didn't draw the picture on this one, but you can follow along in the book if you want to. But basically, it's the same as 26. They gave you S and they gave you theta. And instead of finding the radius, they want you to find the circumference. So again, just like in the last problem, they wanted you to find radius and there was no R in the problem. So how are you supposed to solve for R in that last one if there is no R? Well, we solved for D. So there is no C in this one. There is no circumference. So how do you solve for C? Well, we're going to use transitive property. Okay, if you remember back to proofs, transitive property is if, if A, if something, it's actually if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. But remember, that's basically saying if two things are equal to the same thing, then those two things are equal to each other. So that's what we have here. We have C is equal to pi D, and we also have pi D as part of our formula. So if we can get pi D all by itself, which we do all the way down at the end here, pi D is equal to 372 over 7, then pi D is also equal to 372 over 7. So we have pi d is equal to circumference, and we have pi d is equal to 372 over 7. We have the transitive property. C and 372 over 7 are both equal to the same thing, therefore they're equal to each other. So circumference is 372 divided by 7. So if you use the calculator on that, that's like 50... Three point something. All right, so that was your answer on this one, on that one. So let me walk you through. Start off with your formula, substitute in the numbers that they give you on 28, which was 12.4 for S and 84 for theta. I reduced 84 over 360 to 7 over 30 because they both divide by 12. Then I multiplied 30 to the other side. 30 times 12.4 is 372. And then to get pi d by itself, I divided by 7. So we have pi d by itself. Pi D is circumference. That's what you had to find in this problem. So there you go. You're done. All right. The last one is back to a similar problem as 26. They want you to find the radius. So you start off with the same formula. Now on this one, I went ahead and got diameter all by itself before I substituted in any numbers. In case some of you want to know what is the actual formula to find diameter when they give you the arc length and the central angle, it's this. It's set, it's s times 360 divided by pi times theta. So <clears throat> basically you want to get d by itself. So you multiply 360 to the other side. Get rid of your denominator first. That's how 360 ended up over here. And then you divide by theta and that ends up on the bottom. So this fraction theta over 360 got moved to the other side and it got flipped. That's what happens when you move a fraction to the other side. It gets flipped. All right, now we just have to get d by itself, so you divide by pi. It goes to the denominator. When you divide, it goes to the denominator. So there you have s times 360 over pi times theta is equal to d. Now I went and substituted in the numbers that they gave you for 29, which was 42.56 for s and 240 for theta. And then get your calculators out, do your math here. I simplified 360 and 240 into 3 and 2, just to make the math a little bit easier, 120 goes into both those numbers. So 42.56 times 3 divided by 2 pi, you use 3.14 for pi, and you get 20.33 as your diameter, but again, like 26, they actually wanted to know the radius, so you split that number in half, and you get approximately 10.165. Alright, so that's a little backtracking there. If you're if you were angry with me on Tuesday, hopefully now all is forgiven. But if not, I've got one more olive branch to offer to you, which is I'll give you another chance to laugh at me, and I'll try and post another rap video for you. So there you go for the lesson for the day, rap video to follow shortly.